They should have never put me in nobody's school. I did not know how to behave. At all. What's up, you too? So, uh, I woke up feeling real good. Nah, but, um, me and Ray finna go get us some grab it up dab And, um, yeah, we about to just see what the day bring. Yes, Yo, what's the word? We ended up at Farm Burger. And, uh, they got this really good vegan burger that I don't at all be eating. Red meat, beef, pork, and all of that. Uh -uh. So I come in for the vegan burger, and that joint is. Ain't that right? Correct. Correct, that mundo. Look at these fries, though. Oh. So Raven got uh the. What's these? Some cheese fries? Pimento cheese fries with pickled jalapenos. They do look good though, I ain't gonna lie. But that cheese are fucking What you got? Chicken. Chicken right Oh no, that's the chicken. We yeah, got the chicken. Yeah, and it's the vegan you burger. You else you no, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That's all. So it's vegan mayo. Look at Raven Burger. The we got a, uh, hey, that's right, look good, Joey. That joint look good. So yeah, I guess you can watch us get y'all can watch us get our grub on. Mm. Watch us get our grub on. That tastes amazing. It is. Hey, so what y'all know about this? What does he say this was? A golden ale. It's a golden ale, like, so I guess it's, it's like some type of wine. Well, no, this beer, G. But it tastes like wine, though. I don't know, but it, it tastes like wine, but it's good, though. A little bitter, but it's like a, um, it's a good bitter because it ain't uh it don't stay so it's like bitter uh, gone you know all right now let me bite into my boy again. yes sir yes that's good I'm calling him Gray. Mm. I'm calling him Gray, but Gray them folks. That's fine. Hey, y'all definitely gotta come to Farm Burger if y'all in Atlanta, G. Well, yeah. Decatur. Damn. Is it true when they say in Decatur where it's greater? I don't know. I don't think I'm been out here long enough. And I ain't never lived in Decatur. So I wouldn't be able to tell if that theory is true or a myth. Is that a theory or a myth? Or just a saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, it just feels good out here. I don't know what it is, why it feels so good, but it definitely do. Some shit. 
could be down up right now. Down here with the mayo on my face. No sense. Don't put the Himalaya. Mm -hmm. Oh. We on the road to a thousand subscribers. Well, we need, you know, more than that, but for now, that's what we on the road to. Yeah, I need ends on that. You feel me? But I feel like y'all, y'all so loyal and y'all rocking with me hard. Y'all gonna get us there, right? That's right. Okay, they gonna get us there. I know they will. Mm-hmm. So this be our time to like get out and do stuff because uh, we got kids. And so while they in school, you got to throw some little time for outside. Just a little bit. But I didn't though. I thought I did. Mm. So let me just uh, tell y'all little things about me, you know. Cause I really don't think I've properly introduced myself. I go by the way of Sherrod Faded, not just fun. My name is Sherrod. Faded came from me forever throwing out these fades that is just unmatched. This cannot be duplicated. This cannot. That's why my clients who rock with me keep rocking with me. You know, I am that, that nigga, you know, but besides that, I give great service, you feel me? So yeah, that's where Sherrod Faded came from. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, in Riverdale, Illinois. <laughs> went to school in Harvey, Illinois. So I went to this school called Trinity first. That was on 91st, I mean 95th in, uh, on 95th Street. I went to, uh, what was that, preschool. And then I went to kindergarten. I started kindergarten at Kipling. And then up into third grade, I went there. And I transferred and I started going to school in the suburbs. Yeah. They should have never put me in nobody's school. I did not know how to behave. At all. I should have been homeschooled, is what I mean. Because <laughs> I went up in them people's schools and just, just disrupted they shit. Like, disrupted every class, every student. I'm in there just disrupted. Class clowning. You feel me? 
but I don't know. And you know what's so crazy? Y'all know what's crazy? And a lot of savages be doing that shit, though. A lot of savages get kind of got the same story. Everybody was a class clown. I always was into stuff. That was me. So that's a little brief synopsis on me. Raven, on the other hand, she from Toledo. They dirty. I just. <laughs> I just playing. But you got out the jam. You was not fucking with Toledo. You was not fucking with me. Yeah, I got out the jam. I ain't waste no time, you feel me? So that's when, you know, I moved out here. And I got cracking out here. I came out here literally with not a thing. I probably had maybe 2000 to my name. $2,000 to my name. If that, I don't even think I had that. Man, it may have been like 800 to a band. And I just was winging it. But, you know, I always, I knew I had the skill to like, wherever I go, I could make bread, you know? I could make money wherever I go. Cutting hair, like, everybody is essential. Everybody gonna need a haircut. Anywhere you go, no matter who you are, what you do, you gonna need a haircut. Eventually, but yeah, then you know, I lingered a little bit for out here. Man, Raven on the sly on some Instagram shit. You know, she hopped in my DM. This girl hopped in my DM, say I'm handsome. This girl hopped in my DM. Said I'm handsome. I wonder if she knows that I already knew that shit. Not just her. <laughs> nah, but you know we chimed in and out of the DM. You know we out the band. Then she slid in my DM. I slid back in that joint and I said, "What's up?" He was like, "Hi, I'm Sharad." So then she was just like, this boy in my DM say I'm pretty. That's what she did. I, so then, you know, came out here, got the woo wop, the bamming on the celebrity cuts and shit, you know, and they was just catching fangs, you know, everybody wanted to catch a fangs, so. I just started throwing them all over the city, you know? So, I'm unstoppable now. I'm like Mayweather out here, you feel me? With the cuts, though. We done here? Are you? I don't know. But for now, it's been real. I do appreciate y'all for always, you know, tuning in. And yeah. Ryan's got us in the VIP band. Throw your band out, eh? That sound got us blinging. Blinging and dinging out here. But, uh, we'll be back.